Hey, it's Sans Barzi. Welcome back to another Mindustry matchup where we explore the industry of the mine. Um, this episode, we're going to be fighting a lot of daggers. Have you been dagger spammed? Perhaps by someone named Venzini here on the AA server in uh, Mindustry Hex Wars Free For All. Well, the first step is to get yourself into a safe position. So we're getting attacked already as soon as we appear. And we came in at just a few minutes late, like two, three minutes late. So, you know, Benzini's already got three hexes. But that's going to be fine because we're running all the way up here where it's safe, empty, lonely. This is a nice match because it's basically a 1v1. Um, there are a few other players, but they don't cause us too much trouble. So yeah, first step, get some more safe, build a whole bunch of drugs, and start up your early economy just as usual. Now, there's still the kind of panic moment since I've moved up here, but I don't actually own this hex. Uh, yeah, I moved from that terrible spot down there, <laughs> sandwiched in between Benzini and that other guy, uh, person, Ubermensch. Great name. But yeah, so yeah, so this hex, it's not ours. If uh, we don't claim it in time, our drugs are gonna run all the way across the map and probably get murdered by scatters. So, quick claiming there with the duos to try to make sure we don't lose all the uh, drugs immediately. And we're off. First step as usual, it's gonna be graphite. Well, let's try to get as much as we can. We got a, a nice big coal patch here. We're going to use just the most, the least efficient drills on it. But we can afford them, so why not? And I'll go for that early graphite. You know, I haven't really changed this graphite basically since I started playing. It works. Uh, and I kind of mess it up there. But, and we don't have any titanium. Oh no, we don't have any copper. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so we were, we were definitely in a pickle. We used every ounce of copper we had to claim the hex. So, yeah. That needs a little, one more titanium belt. Okay, it's good. It's good. And now for silicon. I think I'm going to do a little bit less talking. Now I've got the music on. We're gonna go with the basic silicon. Not great coal here for it, so I don't know if we can even supply two of these things with, uh, with this much coal, but we'll find some extra coal somewhere. Feed it in. I like to get the coal started first because I usually have a little bit less coal than sand, so um, feeding it up makes a, means that we've got kind of a nice Reserve of coal. I messed this thing up too. All right, build a bridge. Don't let the coal on the line. But anyway, yeah, we got a, a build up of coal a little bit um, to feed the drills, so that at least the first 30 seconds you're producing a lot of silicon. And we really only need this for a couple of minutes until we can get down our other silicon. Yeah, when I'm oh, I don't I don't have titanium, so that that's not gonna work. Uh, I forgot titanium then silicon in this match, so slight problem slows us down a bit. Really slow start here, having to move and messing a few things up, but we'll see how it goes. Probably read the title of the video, so. You know, you can even have a slow start and recover from it. Just don't give up, you know, and get lucky. That's the other critical factor. Now we can turn on the other drugs. Should have done that a little while ago, because now we don't have enough electricity to turn them all on. Now we'll just turn off a couple and turn the rest on later.
Should have put the silicon in a core before messing around with those drugs, but, you know. You don't need the time, right? Which hex is next? This one has a bit more coal. We'll take this one first. But why do we need coal? I mean, we could make graphite or silicon with it. Okay, first <laughs> we'll make more... We'll feed more core into that silicon. I mean, more coal into that silicon. Because like I said earlier, there's not enough to really uh, have it be productive at the moment. And we'll probably upgrade some of those drills to pneumatic, I think that's the name, graphite drills is what I call them. Because they take graphite. And we need our thorium. This is really how I like to start the match. Graphite, silicon, titanium, no, graphite, titanium, then silicon, then thorium. And we have enough power for this, so. All good. And we're probably running low on titanium. And we want to capture. And we don't have enough power for those drills. So we'll build some more over here. Oh, I finally figured out exactly how many drills I can power with my basic um, early power scheme. Two steam geysers, basically. Uh, two steam, what are they called? Power drills. They're not drills, but anyway. It's nine. Nine drugs. So, now I'm able to start with that. And now we have enough thorium to build the air blast. I'm trying to squeeze two there, but eh, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of coal in this map. There's a lot of sand, there's a lot of coal. It's a very nice, resource-rich map. Yeah, we don't have the power for that. But, laser coal power to the rescue. And we can finish that whole thing, that's nice. Means we have plenty of silicon and graphite from our... We did have a nice early graphite thing because um, we use so many coal drills, or so many drills for it. We usually don't have quite that many uh, drills on our initial graphite. So that's nice, but the, the next step is gonna be even more graphite because early on, you know, it's usually graphite that you run out, of, run out of. After, I mean, you have to set up like an air blast and a laser of titanium to make yourself comfortable. But then, um, then you can add more graphite if you can fit it in properly. Good to go. How should we claim this hex? Let's use our tiny coal thing. This one you can get away with not a perfect patch of coal, so. Because it has eight um, steam power generators rather than nine, which is, you can fit nine total around a an air blast. I forgot exactly, it might be even a little bit more than nine based on uh, the production. But missing two pieces of coal under the air blast, I mean, it's probably not going to work perfectly. And this one, so we're going to finish half the silicon before we finish the rest, because usually, yeah, we're running out of probably thorium to finish that oil extractor. But there it goes. It's done now. Now I've got two full belts of silicon coming in. Full belt of titanium. Maybe belts and a half. No, probably two full belts of graphite. And that big power that we put in is probably enough to get these drugs going. So it's nice that I remember so many drugs so early. Um, hopefully never going to run out of copper and lead in this match, but you never know. It's a constant problem. Again, we don't have a perfect coal square here, but it's a little bit better than last time. I think it's uh, 15 out of 16, so not quite as bad. And I'm dragging these power lines in particular ways so I can leave space for silicon up there. So that's usually, but I mean, it's not as big a deal in this match. There's so much sand. 
Um, I'm kind of used to dealing with a map where there's not sand everywhere. There's grass, there's snow and ice. And those are always annoying. I want to make sure that the water extractor doesn't touch any of the pneumatic drills because um, I think that it can't handle uh, a pneumatic and an air blast. It would run out of water and neither of them would work at perfect efficiency, so inconvenient. And we're going straight to plastic here, even though we still have one small thing of silicon set up. Mm, this a greedy approach, which I think I can get away with because I'm so far away from uh, Benzini and the other players. Yeah, I got long space in between us. Hopefully I check the minimap fast enough to know when they start coming. And I can defend myself in time. But plastic's gonna jumpstart the economy because uh, we use that for our advanced power, our advanced silicon. Well, we need it for overdrivers. And that's how we really maximize our resources. We're gonna do, we're gonna open crawlers this time, just as a little distraction. And this double crawler thing, you know, it's a fair amount of crawlers. Would be probably even better, I'm, I think I'm just gonna let them run, but it would be even better to um, command center them up, get a big ball of them, and then release them all at once. They just draw a bunch of stuff. I think that would be effective with wraiths as well. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. We'll see. But yeah, Manzini does have to deal with the uh, Ubermensch right below him. And like, Ubermensch already blew up my little core there, so we already know he's got some units that are harassing. Oh, and, and here I am. Going to try to command center them up. But I changed my mind. Decided it's not that worth it. They're already coming across the map, so... Well, yeah, probably didn't spot them yet, but... The point of the command center would be to hide them, keep them secret for a minute. So they'd be more of a surprise, but I think they're going to be a surprise anyways. Now that we, so yeah, we got our plastic, that enabled us to quickly build the trident um, pod so we can build all of our other stuff fast, and um, we can also build that sand power for 6k power, so that's a coup de grace for sure in this game. I think I'm gonna try to be rushing plastic more often. Just so useful. And I'm also trying to incorporate more of the um, more advanced stuff. Surge, phase. I've got some schemas, some basic schemas for it. They're really pretty easy to put down and I'm not sure why I don't put them down in every game. So I'm gonna try to make that a habit. I don't, <laughs> I mean I don't make that a habit in this game so um, not yet, but one day we can improve that just a little bit to get the titanium. Excellent, excellent. So the crawlers doing any work? Yeah, it looks like they've certainly gotten Vanzini's attention at least by now, so that's good. I don't see anything coming back towards us, so let's go for another double silicon. We want to go fast units, generally. We're going to need Metaglass soon, too, because um, we've been using it for a lot of the parts. All of our liquid junctions and things. I think Benzini's got defenses there? I don't know. The, the crawlers are just are melting away, so... Yeah, we're out of Metaglass. <laughs> We got a bugged core already, so that's great. Uh, by bugged core, I mean we captured the hex, but um, we didn't get a new core in it, so that's super annoying. But yeah, need Metagoss to finish that one off anyway, so. And we probably need power. Always need power, but I think, you know, I can't uh, finish the power until we get the Metaglass, so. And we're probably running low on something else, because we couldn't finish that, so I'm not sure what it was. Titanium's good, so it's not that. We 
we finished it anyway, so whatever it is is coming in quick enough to finish. Okay, all set there with the silicon. It's rolling in. My crawlers are a slight distraction, but they're not doing too much. And now for some new defenses. Um, I see a whole bunch of what I think are probably daggers coming from the south. They've finished dealing with Uber Mensch and now coming at me. Let's hope this is in time. I've got that down. And I'm hoping that they're all going to run over that core. And they do, thankfully. Yeah, they're not the smartest units. We'll add a couple of defenses in here, though, just in case. They do come up. That should be able to deal with a couple of small drugs. And change my mind on that one. That four takes really long to put, to put down. It's not really a early game for it like we have here. Like we have a need for here, you know. This thing, four cyclones, metaglass cyclones, it can take on a real big horde of daggers. Cyclones do area damage. I think I've talked about it before, but it's very good against um, massed, small, weak units like daggers. So, so that's, yeah, so I mean, that's the first line of defense in a giant crowd of daggers coming your way. Just put a couple of cyclones. Um, feed them with metaglass. Get results. And then uh, I like to supplement with arcs. And this is a decent arc design. I think I can make it um, a little bit straighter, fatter, and with two big menders instead of um, two small ones and a big one. I'm gonna go with Titans. Titans fare okay against daggers. They've got four times the health. And they also just cost silicon, so. I built my other smaller cyclone here even faster. I needed to quickly protect this side and I need to cap it fast because they're right there. So let's just make sure it's capped. Look at that crowd of daggers and the cyclones make very quick work of them. It's no problem. I've even got more hexes now, so I mean it's because I'm putting forts in these hexes. Okay, that's <laughs> that's a lot of daggers. So now we're into the real dagger span. How well can this fort hold? Those menders are pretty important for keeping the core alive because they're a lot. They're shooting the core quite a bit, and this wall stuff's not working. This is a point where I tend to get overwhelmed. I've lost several matches like this. Um, that seems to be holding somewhat reasonably though, so we'll see. This is kind of a mistake. Um, this hex is forward and I don't have any defenses for it yet. And I already know that there's daggers coming from everywhere, so... Defenses will be more important. This one's also a bit ambitious because again, I don't have any defenses. Um, further out. And for now, I um, guess that's holding, but I can see already a bunch of daggers coming north here. Straight to the titan uh, titans that I just placed down. I don't have time for this nonsense up here. I should be defending those ones. And there we go. Core's gonna die any second. And then, all, yep, there it goes. All those titans are useless now. Those titan factories, rather. And this is in as much danger as I thought it was. It's not gonna go when I put down those cyclones. Uh, yeah, not, there's no more time to put down another fort. So, it seems to be going Okay, it's kind of going badly. We already lost that hex with now, what are the 15 or more Titan factories? 
wasted. But it was nice to command center up what little forces we do have there. And they're doing some, some work. And now we have time to put down this fort. We're going to use a different one, just for fun. I mean, they're only coming from one direction, so let's try out this other fort I've got. Cyclone, small defense. It's got more menders. Um, it only has three cyclones, but it's easy to build off of. I'm annoyed at this point. I want this core back, but it's really annoying to take back a core. It takes forever because I have to delete everything. Well, I have to delete enough to uncapture it. I decide it's not worth the time. Let's rally up. Go for a sneak attack. Ten K silicon. It's pretty solid. Not amazing, but it'll do. Okay, that uh, brand new cyclone defense we put down is getting its workout now. And look at that. It's not faring too bad against three ranks of constant daggers. Let's double it up. To be fair, uh, Benzini perhaps could have killed me if he just command centered. I'll mention that later. Now we go for the sneak. See, I don't think he has any forts up here on the north. And now I think it is a true 1v1 right now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's just the two of us, so that's kind of fun. And we're even here. 14 hexes apiece. 34 minutes remaining. Still feels like it's just starting to me. <laughs> but yeah, we're deep into it, I guess. And we're still going all Titans. We're going to add some more silicon. I mean, I think I, daggers would have been a fine choice as well. Especially because you can get them in greater numbers. But like I said, Titans, four times the health. Smaller range on their attacks, so that's kind of annoying. If you have them command centered up, they are not as good at defending for sure. But um, if you glance there, my wraiths are doing some work over in Vincini's base. So that was a good raid. And uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to expand. This time, not with the fences. <laughs> I mean, I've got a, the fort right in front of this one, so hopefully it should be okay right now. 7k silicon, so it's going down. And we... This is going to run us out of graphite too, so... Let's make sure it's powered up. What kind of power we got? 2k. Not quite enough power for my liking. That can be gone in one... One double silicon, I think it's like 3,000 power or something, so... It's a lot. But... Titanium. Our fort up there, our little cyclone fort, it's, uh, it's still holding. I'm not sure what my units are doing. I think they're probably going straight into some of his forts, fortresses. And dying fast, so. This is another new fort that I uh, misplaced and decide not to use. <laughs> um, it's got arcs and cyclones, but let's just go with the regular cyclones defense. It works pretty well up in the north, so hope it does okay here. And I, I couldn't have gotten away with this if those fortresses hadn't uh, been helping me out here. Although it's just a trickle of daggers right now. Um, fortunately, get the forts down, get them powered up, and we are all set here. Let's supplement with some arcs, which makes me think maybe we should just use the arc fort if we're going to do this anyways, but you know. Hopefully that holds for a second. Here I'm not entirely sure what to do. What do I get more eco, make more units, make more defenses, but um, things are holding for the moment, so let's make more eco. Power is okay now. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by the number of units he's pumping out, so I'm gonna try to pump out more of my own.
Revenants, here we come. But uh, we're still exhausting our silicon faster than uh, we're producing it, so time for more silicon. Double silicon. That's annoying what the conveyors did there. Like, clearly they should know which direction I wanted them to go, but they didn't. Alright, 17 hexes to 16 hexes. Still incredibly close. Um, but there's territory to be gained here in the south, and I want it. 4k titanium is not a lot of titanium, so that could be a problem in the future. I don't want all my units to just constantly walk straight to their deaths, so let's uh, let's come down here. We haven't attacked from this direction before, so hopefully it works out. Let's make some eco in this completely undefended hex that's very exposed. Why not? And let's make some power down here. just right next to some giant blocks of his that I think are all dagger factories. I think he's just having fun with this match, just making a whole bunch of dagger spam, which, uh, you know, it works quite well. Um, I don't really want to use my plastic here. It is stronger than Metaglass for the Cyclones to shoot, but let's uh, not waste it because I didn't build any additional plastic factories. I could have, but I didn't. If it's going to be strong, though, we don't have to change both of them to Metaglass. And I noticed briefly... Oh, that's so annoying that in the top left, I had that Wraith Raid ready to go, and uh, Kaya spawned in just as I was releasing it. So frustrating. Some of them survived, I guess, but that Wraith Raid would have been like double, triple powerful. But I did notice Benzini had some defenses there. He probably would have sucked it up with Cyclones already. Um, he saw what was happening and, you know, adjusted. As one should do. But yeah, we still have time since um, his daggers are not being command centered to go and invest in more eco and more units. We don't have to constantly defend. Which is really nice. Because that's what'll get you. If you're in a if someone's spamming units at you and you find yourself just always on the defense, just constantly building forts, rebuilding forts. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. So yeah. Kai's in here. I don't really know Kai, I haven't fought him that many fought them very many times, so. But they are another Grandmaster. I know there's someone named um, Kiku, like spelled differently. Maybe it's the same person as this Kaya. And uh, they were a very good player. Very good Plague player as well. Plague's another mode on the AA server. I don't do it very often because it's not a free for all, <laughs> which is my passion, as you can see. But maybe I'll try it out sometimes. This fight, it's just, it's just, we're fighting on every front constantly. Just daggers spamming out here. Annoying I didn't get that core also. I want that one. But let's defend it. And we're actually killing his units up in the north before they even reach our defenses. So we just have so many of our own units coming out. Yeah, you can see that up in the top left. There's just quite a bit going on. Didn't finish this double silicon because we didn't have the power for it, and we kind of wanted to capture the rest of those hexes first. Let's take it now. 26 minutes remaining. And uh, we've been capping hexes while Benzini, not sure what he's doing. Probably making more daggers. Maybe making more eco as well. But um, he's not doing it in new hexes, so that's an opportunity for us to kind of consolidate some territory down here. We quickly took the whole south here. 
And still, the forts are holding shockingly well. I think while uh, I say that, we might have lost some of them. But um, we've got this territory out here, let's go ahead and take it. And I think I noticed we are in the green in silicon again. Well, no, no, that's not right at all. 4k silicon. That's not enough for this dagger galore. So, uh, we'll try it anyways. We need more double silicon. Come on. We need commands in our units too. Because they're dying too fast. Early on, I left a bunch of spaces up here so I could come back and do just this. Um, I wanted to take a bunch of hexes just to get the territory. And then, uh, you know, you can leave gaps and here you go. A lot, some people just build a whole bunch all in one hex. It's fine, but um, I think it's better to early on... Are we out of Thorium? I think we are out of Thorium. Yeah, we're out of Thorium. Early on to, uh, yeah, to expand. So now we're at 23 hexes to 17, so that's all good. And let's try and cap this one back, because it's really annoying that we lost it earlier. But I uh, forgot to cap it back, so. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All of our units are going to anyone who pops into the game. It's a very hostile environment for. for, uh, I guess, new players. Yeah, you wouldn't want to arrive 30 minutes into this game. Hard to arrive 30 minutes into any game, but especially one where it's kind of too. Grandmasters. Ah, oh, I misplaced this and I don't even notice it. I, it's one tile over the core, which is so frustrating. See, the core appeared and those disappeared. So annoying. A couple of mistakes like that. Um, that core's been cursed for me, this game. It's, I lost the Titans there before. And that was when I decided I want more plastic. But a core is under attack. The core is always under attack in this game as well, especially this last. This, this next segment of it, it's just, just madness, chaos. There's just hordes of daggers all the time. The forts are finally starting to break. I don't know if there's extra daggers than there were a few minutes ago, or I guess they, they were attacking a new player that popped in and now they've all switched back to me. That's some Lancers. Lancers are usually not the best, but in a pinch, do what you can. I needed a bit more range in the arcs. The arcs can't even touch them from there. And I really gotta kill the daggers before they get this close. Um, well, close enough to damage the core. I don't think that was enough defenses. <laughs> so, not great. But, um, go for it anyways. Oof, this one is in chaos. <laughs> it's holding though, it's holding a little bit. And I like how the units are flowing around both sides of it. That makes it easier for me to put these arcs um, on both sides. I leave a little bit of a gap. Units like to go through a gap, so... Um, if you leave a small hole in your walls, you can kind of train them to go where you want, and they won't go all the way around your defenses. They'll go right up there next to your arcs and die. Now let's whip out the big guns. I got a couple of big forts that I very rarely use because they take so long to put down. I really should have put down Phantom Builders. I'm sure Venzini has Phantom Builders in this game to help him build. I might even do it later, but I haven't done it yet. Oh, and we are low on power. I think I noticed that a second ago. Yeah, minus 1700, minus 2000. And uh, we're probably still low on Thorium. Yeah, because I didn't fix that earlier when we were out of Thorium. It is a problem. Get some more thorium. Finally, adding some more eco. Core is under attack. Which defense is falling? It's this one. I don't know. These um, 
the daggers, they're not coming in waves, but they do seem to come like they're, sometimes they're stronger than other times. But we just completely walled off that edge, which I didn't realize, so that's why they're not, um, they're not going around to the left anymore. We'd never finish this plastic. A lot of kind of half-finished projects in this chaotic wasteland of industry and desert. Better a desert than a tundra, though. That's what I always say. Okay. 26 hexes now to 18. So, further improvements. Not sure if I needed those power nodes. I'm not sure if I've ever built this fort before in a free-for-all, so... <laughs> um, it was the first time for everything. Look at all those units. They're just endless dagger spam. And we're holding. This is a, <laughs> it's a great game. Uh, like I said, I usually fold under that much pressure. Usually the fort starts to die and there's no bringing it back. But I have discovered new technologies. That would be large menders and cyclones. Very, uh, very powerful. Spectres would be even more powerful. And fuses. Maybe I'll experiment with those later. I mean, fuses, the problem is you have to get close. Um, they're very short-range turrets, so... They're not that as effective, I think, against daggers. And they're not really doing the um, area damage. Here's where I'm like, wait, why didn't this work? Why did I delete those? Oh, and I misplaced them a second time. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't noticed yet. Ah. That's a throw. Um, now I'm finally in the mood for Phantom Builders, though. Like I mentioned earlier, we will try them out. I think I realized that that hex wasn't going to work. Oh, oh, this hex is... Why is there extra... I mean, I guess there's two groups of daggers from two other multiple giant dagger factory facilities coming in here now. They're doing the old end around. But this fort, no, we'll pick up the shattered remains and resupply with arcs. One day we'll finish this giant fort. It even has overdrivers in it, which is probably going to run me out of power. That fort's fine, so. We got a bunch of these weird forts. Ah, oh, this fort's still holding. Love that. Even this fort's holding. Let's leave that one tile gap so the fortresses know they should come straight there. And. Like I said, probably low on power. I think I haven't realized that I have capped this and I just didn't get the core. Endless daggers. <laughs> Never a moment to breathe in this one. But I've captured the whole right side. I, you know, at this game, I don't think I'm going to be able to push. I need to make some command centers myself. Uh, but I can hold the territory at least. A bit of a stalemate, for sure. Except that I've got the extra territory. That's, I love that defense. It's just remnants plus. Daggers, okay, here they come. Why are they not going to my new big fort? I guess it makes sense, but still kind of annoying. And I really like how they're going all the way around this fort. Oh, they got command centered. <laughs> Finally. And Zini's like, time for a command center. Let's win this game. That's what he's thinking. <laughs> Probably. I'm like, well, okay, shoot. He's making a command center, I gotta make my own command center. And, during this moment of peace, let's put down another gigantic fort, and it's just unnecessary, probably. I should be reinforcing that fort where they're command centering. A mistake. I should have put down the fast fort here, and the one just to the right. But yeah, there he's just relying on defenses. No, 
I, that was a mistake too. Shouldn't have rallied them there. Doesn't really matter because it's about to be destroyed, so. Yeah, there it goes. And then I got destroyed. So now it's chaos, except thankfully they're all going to uh, another fort fortified area. But yeah, so the other thing I want to mention about fighting um, tire spam is defense in depth. That was going to be the short answer at the beginning of the video. How to fight dagger spam. Defense in depth. Can we finish this one? Yeah. Capped. And it's very messy. But um, three cyclones. It's going to do okay. We'll add some arc spam. Make it a nice maze. Oh no. He's rallying again. Okay, we got that one under control, but the other giant ball of units is not under control. But I have noticed it. Or, okay, never mind, it's fine. Yeah, here's the problem. <laughs> that one's not gonna hold out. Nope, core's gone. But we have 27 axes, that's solid. And you know, Take one fort, we got another fort right behind it. Now he's mixed in fortresses too. I think he's like, you know what, I don't actually want to lose. And the dagger spam isn't working anymore. So yeah, straight dagger spam. Just make cyclones and menders, once you can afford it. Arcs until then. <laughs> he's rallying all of his units here. Yeah, the, this fort's not gonna hold very long. I mean, it'll shoot. Actually, it's doing okay. Never mind. Now that's powered up, it might have a chance. It does have a chance. Lots of art. Guys, I mean, these things, I know I'm good, they're gonna die, but they're gonna take a lot of people down with them. And with the Thorium walls, they seem to be able to hold for a few seconds against daggers. Here, I blocked off the maze, so kind of nullified some of the defensive capabilities of that fort. Now I'm doing the smart thing with the small cyclone forts. I don't need a gigantic fort here. I don't need that command center, too. I should have deleted that one earlier. Hopefully this raid does some damage. I feel like I've been on the defensive this entire match, but I have had units going out there, doing their work. That is a lot of units coming in. So, oh, <laughs> he's got a, uh, that's like a singularity of daggers in the corner. Oh man. Okay, my units aren't really gonna fare that well against that insanity. How can my fortresses stand up to that? At least cyclones do um, area damage. If they didn't do area damage, I don't think there'd be any way to stop the horde of daggers. But that, see, just three lines of daggers, four cyclones can take care of it, no problem. And we took out one of the swords over here, okay? So our raids are doing a little bit of damage here. And the more we can distract certain groups of um, daggers from coming out here, the better. Finish the last factory. I mean, the last cyclone. Okay, very good, very good. But something is going wrong. It's this, this mess. I'll come back to it, to this cursed hex. I don't want to destroy everything, so let's just try to fix it, I guess. That work? Oh, no, no, it's working. Okay, I noticed it works. Finally, we're getting some production out of that thing. Uh oh, I haven't been paying attention. They broke through. They broke through a while ago. This ah, uh, we've lost the eco. But it's late. It's late in the match. I think I've got a pool of silicon already. And as long as we can hold them back at some point, like here, 
Uh, if he'd kept them going, actually, I think they would have wiped out even more stuff. I wouldn't have had a chance to put down a couple of defenses here and stop them. Someone mentioned me the other day, um, fortresses don't attack revenants, but daggers do. So I've got revenants coming out in defense a little bit here. And he gives me way too much time to be able to defend up here, but I feel like I'm not really doing enough still. Some amount of power is gone. Okay, power's back. And we need more cyclones. It's knowing I can't fit any cyclones in there because the fortresses are running past constantly. Oh, get the orcs down. Get them down. Mm, can they hold back the swarm? Can they do it? Ah, oh, they did it. Just barely. The core is saved. Ah, oh, all is well. Alright, they destroyed multiple of my favorite double silicons. And some power. And probably some titanium. But, we survived that attack. Really didn't do too much damage. It's so nice, my position up there in the corner. It's so um, well defended. It means a lot of my eco is always safe. Now we got more attacks coming in over here. Let's make sure that one's got plenty of defenses. Make sure this one's got plenty of defenses. Looks like we've lost a little bit of ground there, but um, for the most part it's safe. And I notice this hex, these are all my units, so that's fantastic. Oh, core is under attack. Where's that happening? Probably that one. Yeah. I think my units are making a little bit of headway in there. I do have quite a few units now. Such a strange game. Okay, we're powered up. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh, we lost that one. Hopefully this one will hold. And you might notice the power is not looking the best. It's starting to turn yellow. None of those arcs are shooting. <laughs> Yeah, we're out of power. Yeah, now it's panic time. No power, and the whole grid's gone dark. Rally everyone. <laughs> no units are making are being made right now. None of the arcs are working. Oh. Big pickle. All right, so. Restore your power, make something that uh, self-generates power, then make a larger power generator, get that one on, then batteries, then that might be enough. That wasn't enough. Nope, still going down. Okay, second power. We've got a lot of stuff to turn on here. And we're probably getting attacked. Check the mini-map. Okay, thankfully, thankfully, he's, uh, command centering up right now. I saw that lol XD. I thought that guy went to all, uh, and see my powers out right now. Fortunately, he didn't, and we got it back. Okay, Whew. we're in the green. We added two sand powers, so we should be positive about, um, 10k or so. Let's get that back on. We got all these back on. Just add arc spam. I don't even know what to do at this point. Like, defend. <laughs> I, it's pretty clear I'm not going to be able to take any territory. I mean, if this game had gone a few more hours, maybe I would have figured out how to cap some more hexes. But there's only six minutes remaining. That's what's nice. 28 hexes to 18 hexes, six minutes remaining and my defenses have mostly been holding. Even a huge push like he did earlier that broke all the way through and took a bunch of eco out. I just made some new forts there. I still have a ton of units coming out. It wasn't a fatal blow for, for once, you know. That's annoying. I have that hex, but uh, somehow it got hollowed out. Could have let them go there. It looks like they were 
doing some damage. I don't know what happened there. And I saw a Vanzini build in one of my hexes that I thought had it had the capture, but the core was dead, so I don't know, I assume those count as my hexes. But who knows? Alright, it's time for another giant attack. He's got six minutes left. He's probably trying to do the killing blow here. We're gonna lose that core. We're just <laughs> We're just panicking now. Fortunately, we've got a bunch of these arc things set up back here. Like, every single hex has them. So... Maybe? That's a lot of enemy units. That core's dead. Alright, we're down, what, three cores? Like I said, huge push. Let's just keep retreating. Defense and depth, right? Defense and depth. We do have a fort down here, so if they make it all the way over there... There's another fortress, and there's cyclones there. We are used to this at this point. We're used to fighting. All this. That one's taken care of. Huzzah. And the nice thing about if they're command centered up, these pushes don't last forever. You just have to kill the whole push, make sure you don't lose everything in it. And we lost a lot. But that one's holding. 27 hexes, so we lost, we lost some things. We'll get them back. And knowing that that hex says it's captured by us. Oh, that's not mine. This one says it's captured by us as well. But we don't have the core, as usual. I'm not sure what's happening over there on the left. I guess something was getting shot, but those look like they're all my units, so... Ah, uh, okay. See, this one, it says uh, it's captured by me, but clearly he's able to build in it, and it's not captured by me, so I don't know what's up with that. That's what makes me think, okay, maybe these hexes I um, don't count as captured by me. I don't know. Some weird mechanics in this game once I get to this point where it just, <laughs> like, so many things have been destroyed, recaptured, destroyed again. Um, I'm sure the game doesn't really know how to handle that. But again, fortunately we have defenses everywhere. And why are those not connected? That's annoying. But... Whatever. Uh, time for a new fort. I'm sure we've had this fort here before. <laughs> but... And rebuild it. That's the other thing against Dagger Spam. You know, they take a bunch of your stuff, but, uh... You take it back. Never give up. And like I said, I feel like I've been on defense the whole time, but, you know, it probably feels like he's on defense a little bit. At least, you know, every once in a while I'm chipping away at some of these forts. I do. I just, I don't know what to make of these. I gotta spectate the game in order to see how it's actually playing out. But I, oh, I keep trying to. That's that's rough. Um, but yeah, I think he waited too long to start command centering units for these big pushes because those have been able to do some pretty brutal damage, uh, which would have taken quite a lot of territory. But you know, like I said I got defenses in almost every hex at this point because I'm I have to deal with those. I have to expect them to break through. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that core, so let's just build arcs. Try to make sure we can capture it. Man, crazy. At this point in the game, I'm really I'm just trying to hold on to as many hexes as I can before the end. I'm not even worried about resources or power. Just seconds left. So, rebuild our forts yet again. Captured. We're getting a lot of experience. I don't know if experience doubles up, but. Yeah. And now I want to build some more units, but <laughs> none of my cores even have a free side in which to build units. I can't build them there. I've got like 
you know, tens of thousands of coal and, uh, sorry, no, silicon and titanium. No use to me. So that was another mistake. I should have built those earlier. Um, shouldn't have let the stockpile of resources get that high before converting them into units. But we'll do it here in the final seconds. There we go. GG, boys. That's how to beat the dagger spam. Make sure that um, they don't command center and build a bunch of... Well, no, you should build a bunch of cyclones. Anyway, GG. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.